Our verse today is Matthew chapter 4, verse 18. While walking by the Sea of Galilee, he saw two brothers, Simon, who is called Peter, and Andrew, his brother, casting a net into the sea, for they were fishermen. The call of the disciples was the first personal encounter Jesus had with persons after his baptism and temptation in the wilderness. After his temptation in the wilderness, Jesus heard that John the Baptist had been arrested. Then he withdrew into Galilee. Beginning his ministry in Galilee is symbolic. Galilee was part of Israel's northern kingdom, devastated by the Assyrians around 722 BC. The Assyrians removed the Israelites, leaving only a remnant and settled people from other nations they had conquered. Jesus bringing the good news of hope and restoration to Galilee is symbolic. He was walking by the Sea of Galilee. This Sea of Galilee is known by different names in the Bible. It is called the Sea of Kinnereth or Kinneroth if you read Numbers 34 verse 11 or Joshua chapter 12 verse 3. It is also called the Sea of Genezaret if you read Luke chapter 5 verse 1 or the Sea of Tiberias if you read John chapter 6 verse 1, 21 verse 1. Sometimes it's also called the Lake of Genezaret as we find in Luke chapter 5 verse 1. The Sea of Galilee was important commercially and politically during the time of Jesus because Herod had rebuilt the town and settled the area with Jewish people. It supported flourishing fisheries, hence Simon and Andrew were there fishing. As Jesus was walking, he saw two brothers, Simon, who is called Peter, and Andrew, his brother. His name was originally Simon. When it says who is called Peter, it must be a reference to the change of name which would occur later in the Gospel, chapter 16, verse 18. Simon was a common Greek name, if you read Sirach chapter 50, verse 1, which comes from the Hebrew name Shimon, one of Jacob's sons and eventually the tribe of Israel. Shimon in Hebrew means held. Jesus changed his name to Peter. Petros in Greek, which means rock, from someone who hears to a formidable rock. On the other hand, Andrew, Andreas in Greek means manly. The little detail that they are brothers is important. It shows that Jesus can call people from the same home. He is looking for those who will do the job, not based on their origins or blood ties. The two brothers were casting a net into the sea, for they were fishermen. These brothers had a profession before Jesus called them. They were not catching fish for luxury or fun. That was their job. That was their profession. Jesus found them in their job and called them to follow him to become fishers of human beings. Jesus comes to us wherever we are. He meets us in our places of work and whatever kind of work we do. He is not selective of some kinds of professions. He chooses his disciples from different occupations. Jesus comes to us in our daily places of work and expects us to respond to him. Casting the net to catch fish will change into catching human beings for the kingdom of God. Jesus calls us to catch more people for the kingdom of God. The fishermen have techniques for catching fish and know the right time to cast out their net. In the same way, those who fish for the kingdom of God must learn the skill of preaching and how and when to deliver the right message for the right catch. Lord, make us true fishers of human beings for your kingdom. Amen. God bless you. Have a lovely day.